Alright, this video guys is going to cover the Northeast Africa mission in I-Bomber. Um, I'm going to start doing these videos at double speed uh, simply because um, there's no real necessary or need to watch the whole thing drawn out. Anyways, we're going to start off placing uh, two machine gun nests at the um, convergence near the bottom as you can see and work on uh, saving up some money while we're just dealing with little troops there. And with the next uh, $40 I get the um, communications array turret. And uh, we use that um, to boost the range of our machine gun turrets. And we're gonna, at this point, um, and onwards into the game, it pays to have a lot of these uh, comm turrets, or at least uh, highly upgraded Cause, and getting uh, max interest per level because you can get up to 50 interest um, and once you start getting an extra $50 uh, to spend on turrets the game starts becoming uh, a lot easier because you can just overpower all the enemies coming at you um, pretty much we're sticking around uh, this one island or high ground area because um, we can use the one comm turret to boost the range of multiple other turrets around it and uh, they can all pretty much hit anything coming from any direction from those locations. Uh, cannon turrets in particular are going to have an extreme range being on high ground and uh, boosted. We're putting a sabotage turret um, to the side there to slow down to uh, units coming from that side. We do that to kind of uh, manage the flow of enemies. And as you can see, air raids are going to be coming up on the 20th wave out of 30. Another sabotage turret to the top right. Slow down units coming from both uh, paths so that are up there. So now we've got um, all enemy units being slowed, which is good for this mission. And we're going to put, as you can see, our anti-aircraft turret up on this uh, top central island, and another machine gun turret that can cover uh, both those um, center and west paths. Com turret will boost um, their firepower, give us a little more interest. At this point, we're getting some decent interest going on, but. And some of those enemies are getting kind of close. Uh, so we're going to add some to the east side with a machine gun turret there. And we've got one of our cannon turrets, as you can see by now, upgraded to its level 3. And an upgraded anti-aircraft turret can hold uh, all the planes on its own. filling out some more machine gun turrets for the top right plateau actually not islands <laughs> as you can see we're burning through these guys pretty well now I add a second anti-aircraft turret just in case which turns out to be a good idea because as you can see they start passing the first anti-aircraft turret and it's a little bit too much so we rewind again and upgrade that turret as soon as possible and we do it just in the nick of time uh, to save the base so you might want to uh, do that before I did. And as you can see, I quickly sold it and placed a cannon turret there um, in order to stem the tide of tanks. 
and that ended up uh, working and we have a perfect run. We can fill out um, a few more of these things here. Spend it on sabotage and anti-air. 